In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a relay to the GameTimer Pro so that you can trigger external devices on detonation or on defuse. The GameTimer Pro has connections for detonation relay and a defuse relay. So right now I've got a three pin connector soldered to the detonation relay connection. And if you want us to add that to your device, just say so in your order and we're happy to add that. We use these uh, DF Robot relay modules. They're really nice and they come with the wiring harness that matches our board. So I'll just connect that like so. And then in the configuration, we can control how long the relay is triggered at detonation. And it's this configuration item here, T-DET. The default is five seconds, so let's just change that. We can set that to whatever we like. Let's say three seconds. And now we'll exit. And when we run our countdown, I'll start it at three seconds. I'll start it at five seconds. You'll see that the relay is triggered for three seconds. And that's all there is to it. You can connect anything you like to this. Um, if your external device can be powered from 9 volts, there's connectors here uh, just above the power jack that you can use to provide power to your device. Um, otherwise, just uh, connect your external device to the common connection and the normally open connection. And when the relay is triggered, it'll connect those two wires and you can trigger your external device.